Hey, what's up guys, Eradicators here today, and uh, we're doing a repair on a tile roof. Uh, it's had reoccurring rat problems. They've actually, uh, uh, another company came out and previously sealed the area. And the areas we're gonna address today are these roof return areas, uh, where the tile and the soffit meet. Uh, so those are main entrance points for animals into the attic. And as you can see, what they did is they, they addressed the problem in the way that you would a, a shingle roof. They, uh, they mortared in this area uh, so that things can't run up in, over the tile and in uh, under the soffit. Unfortunately, on a tile roof, that's not effective because these uh, these areas uh, underneath the barrel tile are like little highways for the animals. So all it takes is an animal to be able to get underneath the tile in the valleys, uh, broken tile and the side and the flashy pan. Once they get in there, they can use these these areas. And once we pull all this apart and break out the uh, the other company's repair, you'll be able to we'll be able to slide this tile out. And you'll be able to see the big hole that's, that's there for the animals to go underneath the tile right in the roof. So we're gonna get this all pulled apart, and then we'll show you what it looks like pulled apart we're going to repair it our way uh, and then show us show you what our finished repair looks like so the animal uh, the house will be completely animal proofed and uh, permanently sealed all right so we got everything pulled apart and this is one of the tiles it was slid up so what happens is, is this from here up was inside the attic uh, behind the soffit. And so you have these channels underneath where they run underneath and you can see where it was repaired over the top. And one thing to point out here is that there's rat droppings that were on the tile inside the attic. So they're obviously still going under here, underneath the repair and inside the attic. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all pulled apart. So you have this big hole, the hole runs all the way up here, all the way to the water pan. And this whole area goes right into the attic. You see all the insulation, all the debris from them running in here. Uh, brought in from animals. So what we're gonna have to do is we have to build this out Seal off this area and then we're gonna have to put the tile back in place in front of it So the the repair looks um, just like it would uh, if we never touched it, but it'll be completely animal proof So we're gonna seal off this entire area and uh, do it the proper way and then we'll slide the tiles back in place Alright, well we had the, the whole roof return area pulled apart and as you saw there was the, the big gap going right into the attic. So what we've done now is we've put a metal in there, foam, we'll let that harden and we put a nice terracotta concrete over it, try to match it to the, the roof. This will dry a little lighter, should be a good match uh, for the tile that's existing here. And everything's all sealed up so now what we have to do is because the tiles originally slid into the, into the attic, uh, we're going to cut the tiles, make them fit right back into place. Uh, we're going to make sure we get the lead back down, get this corner all secure. There's a valley here, so we're going to put a membrane there, a waterproof membrane, a walker flex, in order to make sure that the, uh, the this area is waterproof and that the water flows past it like it should. And uh, once we're all done, it'll look like we never happened, and we're just going to go uh, set some traps in the attic, and then we'll be all done and start removing the animals uh, from the house in the next 48 to 72 hours. So uh, the building's all sealed off, so the last part of uh, rooting yourself with roof rats is the trapping process. Uh, so there's you get, there's lots of debris up in the attic. You can see there's a big old rat turd right here. Lots of uh, urine droppings uh, throughout the attic. Uh, so we're gonna start our traps up here. Uh, really important first off is you tie them to something. There's lots of wiring we can tie to, or the rafters. Uh, I prefer the rafters. I don't want to mess with the wiring in the attic. Um, and we're gonna try and set them uh, against two by fours uh, or against the sides of walls. Rats don't like to water out in the open. They like to run along walls so uh, even something like a two by four like this i can set the opening of the trap uh facing towards it so they run by they'll come after the the bait that's in the trap and then we'll come back in uh 48 to 72 hours and start removing animals out of here all right so it's a quick follow-up uh, it's been 48 hours since we set the traps and sealed the building and we came back to find a couple of little critters caught so we're going to take them out of the attic reset the traps and that's kind of part of the process is removing them once we seal the building it's a good indication that you seal the building properly because once the building uh, is all sealed up and the animals can't come and go and go outside for their food sources the only food source is the traps in the attics are able to locate the animals because they go after the traps to remove them and uh, continue to make the house critter free so a couple more follow-ups um, probably remove some more animals from the attic but job well done uh, so visit us at eradicators.com or atticanimalremoval.com and check us out for a free estimate.